hey guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be dealing with this space this space behind me um as you can see we have an entry we don't have an entry so when you walk through the door you walk straight up to the stairs so there is no entryway there i wanted to create a space where i can actually have like a what would you call it kind of like an entryway but inside the living room if you like I always like to come home and leave my keys. I always like to leave my keys where I can easily access it. And there's nothing that gives you that in this space. Um, and obviously I've got so much dead space behind me. So it would be really good to kind of use it and fill it up a little bit, but keep it really nice and simple. So to start, I am going to share with you this DIY that I did. I got this table off of Facebook and or a console table off of facebook and it was in its um solid wood and i really liked the way it looked but it needed a little bit of tlc to fit into my space so let me show you what i did okay so this is the um console table that i got i love it i love the shape of it and i like the fact that it is real wood um i'm trying to kind of do that a lot now i think it's it's good to have things that will last a while so the first thing that I did, I cleaned it before now. I cleaned it like two days before it was sitting in the garage. Um, and I'm just going to go in and give it a quick sand. What I'm trying to do is to just get as much of the varnish as I can off. Um, so I am going to sand it and sand it until, yeah, but just really light sanding. But just to make sure that that top layer of um, the varnish is all completely off. Okay, so I wanted to give it that fluted look, but I want to do it at the face and on the sides of the uh, of the console table. I am using this mitre box. It's just a simple tool to use, and I have a tiny little saw, as you can see. I have measured all my the um, wood that I'm using. I picked it up from Home Dep Depot. It was super inexpensive, um, and I am just going to cut the sizes that I need using this little saw and my mitre box. I'm trying to just show here that you don't really need to have like insane tools to do these things with. It is super simple to do it at home, even if you do not have like, you know, electric tools and things like that or power tools, this will work just fine. So once I'd finished cutting all my pieces, I just run it through a sandpaper just to make sure that they were nice and smooth. I decided to paint first before I added it because sometimes I find that when you're painting in between grooves, if you're not using a sprayer, it can become a bit messy. So I decided to paint all of it first. I'm using like a black blue paint. I will link, I will write the name up here. I just can't remember it. I don't have it on hand. So I'll write the name of the paint that I'm using here so you can see or put it in the description box. I absolutely love it. It is kind of like a black but kind of blue undertone to it. And I just felt like that worked super well in this space. I did that well on this. It's really what I wanted. I've already got my coffee table that's black. And I've already got, um, and my coffee table and my dining table are black. I just didn't, I just wanted something that still sits within that color scheme, but was different is what I was going for. I am using my usual technique which is to brush on the paint first and then go over it with a roller i find that this gives a really nice um smooth finish to the painting once my two coats were dry i went over it with um a varnish that i mix with a little bit of the paint i will link everything that i used in the description box below for you so you can i picked everything up from i think home depot or Lowe's. one of the, home depot is where i went so i picked everything up from there and the color, I am so, I'm obsessed with this color. I absolutely love this color. Okay, for the fluted, 
part what i wanted to do was i play i'd already done all my measurements how i wanted to kind of, i didn't want them together i wanted a little bit of separation space in between each wooden panel and i held the last two down just so that i could fit in my uh, drawer and make sure that it wasn't interfering with it i didn't use any nails on mine i just used wood glue this wood is super light and with wood glue it held really really well so i didn't need to use um nails i'm not using any bright nails or anything like that i'm just using wood glue this is super simple i mean if you've never done anything like this before i'm hoping that this shows you that you can there's nothing here that really requires like huge techniques it is super easy to do so you don't really need big tools um to do this um i'm just adding a little bit of the glue at the back of each each uh wooden each wood and then uh and then just placing it down making sure that my placements are how i want them to be and then i will hold them down with the um those plier thingies i can't remember what they're called <laughs> uh, and just hold them down and then leave them to dry overnight So this is the next day. Um, it's all dry. I took all the clams off and it held on super well. Nothing was falling apart at all, as you can see. So my next job was to now paint this bit. I hadn't varnished the top because I just wanted to get this bit finished and then I'll do it and then varnish it all together. So I'm just going over it with the same paint, giving it two coats as I did everywhere else. Um, but as you can see, because I'm just painting the wood, I'm not having to go in between the creases and then having paint kind of clog in there, um, which is why I decided to paint the back of it first before I added the... Um, the wooden pieces at the front but i did two coats letting it dry in between each coat and then i gave it a varnish um at the end at the end of that then i found this really nice gold knob from lowe's and i screwed it at the top as uh, well just to use it as a handle at the front um for this floor here i hate these tiles i think i've said it too many times i this house has tiles of different variations running everywhere and to keep the floor uniform, I'm using the leftovers of the vinyl flooring that I bought, the vinyl sheet that I bought and used in the kitchen and the dining area. I had this bit left, so I am just using that here just to make sure that I have some uniformity between this. Because when you walk into the front door, you can see all the way to the kitchen. It just makes perfect sense for the floor to flow. Um, so I'm just cutting through like all the doors, all the little nooks, just to make sure that it fits really nicely. This was super simple to put down it took me about maybe 15 minutes to get this done um because i was it's just making sure that you cut cut all the sides and then tuck it underneath the stairs and on the sides of the trims as well and then i use exactly the same um the same uh, glue the same tape that i use for the kitchen and the dining room to put this down so it was super straightforward to do This is what the end result looks like. I absolutely love it. There's uniformity in this space and it brightens up the front, this front space so much. So this is the finished product. I absolutely love it. The new design that I added to it just makes it look really cool. And the small knob just really, really makes it pop. I love the black. I'm trying to keep it black. So um, most of my furniture in here is black or white and I just wanted to keep it the same. Um, and I really, really just love how this turned out. It was so simple to do um, and it didn't require like too much big tools to kind of get the edges on the side there. So I am super, super happy with it. I have shared this lamp with you guys, but if you haven't seen it, I will link that video below. Um, I absolutely love it here. I am super excited to be using it. So for this space, look, my first thing to use is I am going to be using some greenery. So I've got this one here that I absolutely love. 
um this pot i have had forever i picked it up from a charity shop and then i just did the um white paint no it's not really white but like an off-white paint with um baking powder but really lightly on it i love this greenery it's so whimsical so simple to use and i love it um i got it from donna mills um it looks super super cool i really really like like it so i'm just going to sit this here and then i'm going to add a box i already have my keys in it so this is just so that i can do it's like a catch-all instead of using a bowl you could use a bowl or a box I wanted a box because I really I wanted this space not to have any clutter at all. If I had like a separate entryway, maybe I would have used a box. But for here, a bowl or something. But for here, I really prefer for it to be a box. So I'm adding a box right here. Um, I'm going to turn it this way because then it makes it easier to open and close. So that will sit right here. On this side of the room, I'm just going to add some books and a little sculpture. That's all I am going to be doing. On this side you know how it is always have to put things in threes and I don't always like to do them in a line I kind of like to make it kind of sit not so visible but not in a line but I don't like it in a line so that's how I will kind of keep this and I am happy with it I wanted to add some greenery right about back there um, by the by in between the um, the frame and the wall just there to fill that space and i bought this off of amazon which i really like i love the olive tree it's got the olive fruits on it which is really cool <clears throat> and as you can see i've got two different baskets so let me get the tree away um it comes in this little pot thing here as you can see it's got the tree the um, leaves on it so i'm kind of just holding it so you can see it looks really really cool i really love it so these are the two pots that i have this one right here is a diy project i love the texture on it you know me i'm always talking about texture i love this one quite a lot um and i love the height of it and i also like this one it's like a copper pot but i wasn't intending to keep it like this i got this from home goods i wasn't intending to keep it like this i just couldn't find anything that i liked and i got frustrated and i bought this and I thought I'll buy it, I'll bring it home, and then I can spray it whatever color I want, maybe black or white. I could do that myself at home, and that would be easy. I mean, a can of spray paint, $4, and you'll be done. So that's what I wanted to do with this one. But when I tried the plants in both of them, it looks horrid in here, absolutely horrid. So I am not going to be using this for that. I'll use this for something else. Um, but in here, I am not particularly sure. So I will put it in here so you guys can see it. Tell me what you think this is what the new space looks like i absolutely love it even though we don't have an entryway but we have a space that functions like that and i am in love with how it turned out i just wanted to mention one thing though um the planter that i used obviously i did say that i was going to just use that just so i could show you what this space would look like with that greenery on the side but i put some moss at the top but you can see that it's not super tidy um because i usually i would have maybe used maybe some glue to keep it down and then just make sure that it was nice and tidy at the top and that would have been i wanted like a white-ish pot on that corner um but i just wanted to do that just so you guys could see what it looks like i love how this space turned out comment below let me know what you think about it as well give this video a thumbs up if you love it i would really appreciate that if you're new please don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye guys